Hey guys, Lee Dragon here, and we're gonna relax here today. The Grudge official trailer comes out here, I believe, on the 3rd of January of next year. So, right at the beginning of the year, kicking off one of the earliest horror movies. I think it's the first horror movie to come out next year. I could be mistaken, but I think it's the first one. Um, this one is gonna be a remake, I believe. Uh, the first three. We're done quite a while back, and I think Ju and then the J Japanese they did their version, uh, Juon and Juon Two. I think Juon the Grudge, I think it was called. Juon, uh, yeah, it was Juon, and then it was a part two. Both of them were great. I watched. I've seen them both. I own the first one, the Japanese version. Uh, I don't think I own any of the versions of the American version of The Grudge. Both are great. Uh, Japanese, they do make a lot of good horror movies. Uh, I need to watch more of them. I haven't checked out too many Japanese horror movies except for Juon and Ringu. I'm probably mispronouncing that. But if you don't know what Ringu is, it's like R-I-N-G-U. -I I'm probably mispronouncing the heck out of that. But it's basically uh, the Japanese version of uh, the ring, which I say it's the Japanese version because I'm not sure which one came first. I know either the Grudge or the Juon came first. One of those two came first, but the ring, I don't know whose. I don't know whose came first. The Americans or the Japanese version came. Both were great, so I have nothing really to pick at either one. But we're gonna check this one out. And right now, we got a. Uh, I forget what her name is. She played uh, Elise. Elise? Or Elise? Um, she played kind of like the psychic um, in uh, the Insidious movies. All, she was in all four. And uh, she was also uh, the teacher in um, Nightmare on Elm Street when. Uh, Nancy had that dream and she started freaking out in class. Um, she was a teacher in that classroom. Uh, but other than that, I don't know what else she's really been in. Oh, she was in um something, I think it was the movie called Midnight Man, where she played this grandma who was suffering from, uh, I think, dementia, I believe. But she's a great actress. I loved her in the Insidious movies. You know, one through four. Fifth one comes is coming out. Not sure when. But anyways, we're gonna check this out. This video is about two and a half minutes long. A little over that. I will leave a link down in the description if you wish to check the video out yourself. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe on my channel. And uh, make sure you check out their uh, the channel here. It's by the people of movie trailer source make sure you subscribe to them and check them out for other content as well now uh, the link I'll leave uh, down below will lead you to this video on their channel so that's uh, without further ado let's just get to it and uh, see what this uh, uh, let's get a glimpse of what they're gonna be doing here <laughs> I didn't like Don't Breathe very much. Who is, is that, what's his name? Is that John Chow, I think his name is? I think it is him. Hello, it's Peter Spencer. I'm here about selling the house. Is anyone home? Don't Breathe. Even though it was pretty good to remake. Then we came much for Don't Breathe. Oh, it's a twisted new version. Okay, maybe it's not a remake. Um, I wouldn't stick your head in that, dude. Jeez. Ghost house. Okay. This is Detective Muldoon. This is Peter Spencer. Something happened to me at 44 Rayburn Drive. Someone dies in a drift of rage. Yeah. Oh, that's someone what's... was murdered at that house. Why did he never go into that place? It's pretty soon the nun fell right about it. Looks like we got another one. Damn. Do you think that the body we found is related? Hello? I went 
to the house. Hello? Police department. I think something followed me home. Mommy, what's going on? What's wrong? We need to leave right now. Heck yeah. I can give them a like on that. That was really good. Uh, God, it makes me want to watch The Grudge again. The um, American or the Japanese version. Either, you know, I would want to watch. I want to watch either one right now. I don't match which one I would watch. But this is actually really good. I mean, John Ch Chow, I think it's like C-H-O. I think it spells his name. He was in uh, White Castle. Uh, one and two. Um, he's been on some other stuff, I think. I don't remember what else he's been in. But he's a good actor. Oh, he was in that one movie about where his daughter gets, like, kidnapped or something. Um, it's all done, like, on camera and stuff. It's kind of, like, done through the view of a camera. That's what it's called. Searching. That's it. But anyways, yeah, this is a real... I love the trailer. Um, this is the first trailer. I don't know if they're going to be doing any more. But I could say is that... I love it. I, I can't wait to see it. I hope I can see it next month. Not next month. I'm sorry. In January. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely try to go see it in January. I need to do um, reviews after movies I go see. I haven't done any of them. I don't think. I know I keep on saying I'm gonna do it. I just I forget. I don't have the time. Uh, I apologize. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. I mean, I jumped several times, and I felt you know that, that sensation on your that you get on your skin, or you, you, you know the sensation you get when you're watching a movie, and something catches you by surprise and scares you. And I'm like, man, I got that. I felt that feeling. Uh, so that just means that this movie is going to be great. It looks great. The acting's great. The special effects. I mean, it might even be better than the American one that came out, which I think came out in the late 90s, early 2000s. So it's been a while since it came out. Probably like 10 plus years. But this looks awesome. And then they got Sam uh, Rami in it. He did Evil Dead, the remake, which got hate but I loved it uh, I didn't care much for Don't Breathe which if you're not familiar with Don't Breathe it's been out for a while it's about three people um, decided to break into this guy's house this blind guy and uh, the one guy is, one of the girl the one girl is with them and she has like a little uh, sister she needs to support and then the other guy he's kind of like a loner not really a loner but he's like his dad's a cop and He's kind of like an outcast, and sometimes I think somehow he gets uh, brought into the mix with her and this other guy who's like this, you know, the bad boy type, which I think is like his like her boyfriend or something. But it turns out this guy is uh, more than what they can handle. But yeah, it's called Don't Breathe. Um, it was okay. I watched the whole thing. It was like, eh. But anyways, um, let's move on from the. Go on to the next video here. See what else I can find for you guys. Uh, so I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.